day, everyone. <clears throat> Today I'm going to present you that little circuit, which uh, all of the value right now that I'm using are correct, beside the inductor and the voltage, because uh, I'm going to show you how versatile that little circuit is. Right now it's uh, on my messy breadboard, and uh, don't worry about a couple of resistors, they're just there for a jumper. And um, it's hooked up to a transfo, which is a 6 volt to 120 volt, and an LED light bulb, <clears throat> and my trusty little power supply. Set up at 6 volt and 500 milliamps. So let's go ahead and turn it on. As you can see right now, I'm drawing about 1.7 watt of power at 6 volt, 280 milliamps. And here is the LED lighting very, very bright, almost uh, full brightness. Or I think it is full brightness actually. It's not super powerful. And this LED is just there to uh, collect the, the feedback from the transformer. And what happened is if I turn off the LED, I hope I don't get electrocuted here. The amp draw just go way down. Of course, it's not much compared to what it is, it is normally driving uh, when it. So you 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 gain about a hundred milliamps of uh, saving. But it doesn't stop here, because this circuit will actually drive almost any type of load you actually want. Let me just turn it off here, and I'll switch my clip to a little flyback. clean up my bench. Sorry about that. Alright, so it is hooked up. There's my ground here. And then for this test, I'll actually increase the, uh, the amperage a little bit higher, but I won't run it for very far because my little transistor uh, won't handle the load very, very well. But uh, here we go at 6 volt. My LED is still strong. And as you can see, it's driving it very, very well. Now, this is a 9 volt. Uh, flyback and my transistor did get very very hot but you could actually use it with a bigger transistor like this one which can actually take uh, 15 amps and the good thing also about this little circuit is your load doesn't need to be on the positive end you can actually uh, remove this load put it directly to the positive and put your load in between this circuit and ground and it works just as, as uh, it works just as great so uh, it's actually very useful and by changing the capacitors and the values of resistors and stuff like that you can actually uh, change the load and the frequency let's take for example this light bulb and then I'm gonna change the uh, 10 microfarad capac capacitor for a uh, 68 I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see it here anyway, anyway 68 microfarad let's just hook it up there turn the power on 
Uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit too fast. We can't act, we can't actually see it flashing. So let's go on ahead and change the uh, 390 ohm resistor. Just turn on the power, and I'll put a 1.8k resistor on it instead. Turn on the power again. And there we go. Now you have a light flasher. So you can actually configure this little circuit to do either high frequency or very low frequency. And uh, I actually have no idea how actually it worked, but I would assume this capacitor here will charge to um, in between the difference, which is right now, this is set by the voltage divider right here. So 1.5 will actually have half the voltage right here. And as soon as this capacitor will go uh, 600 millivolt higher, I'll actually turn on the capaci the transistor. And then this capacitor will then discharge through the circuit. And then actually this transistor will conduct and will make this one conduct for a very short time and then the the cycle uh, just simply restart after it's done and then you can actually change this circuit modify it oops <clears throat> and let's put an LED in here let's, we go like this and then actually see the simulation here and in real in real world it would actually work exactly the same yeah uh, I'll just get started and well actually it will drive the LED a little bit too more than 20 milliamps but as you can see it actually works as a little voltage booster the only downfall I found it is it doesn't work very low voltage you'll drop to about 1.2 and the circuit will stop to work but beside that for other uh, various use for high, a higher voltage and transformer or little uh, low cost inverter and stuff like that it actually works very well so I thought it might uh, be a good idea just to share it with you guys and um, let you enjoy this uh, mar marvelous little circuit alright see you later